Hey, this is Andrew from AJS Woodworks, and this is how to replace the hop-up and hop-up bucking on an AK-style airsoft gun. I just wanted to show you the full gun before I zoom in closer when I take it apart, so I'll get started. First things first, you're going to want to take this off, and anything else around the barrel, which is pretty much just this front, uh, this front part of the gun but I won't videotape that because it'll take forever so I'll take all the parts off that are necessary to replace the hop up and then resume videoing them alright as you can see I've got all the necessary parts off now and they're all laying over here so because this is a SIMA gun or a CYMA gun uh, it was pretty difficult to take apart there's a lot of screws to take out and a lot of just difficult things that you have to do to take it apart which is kind of annoying but that's what you get with a cheaper gun so and actually this gun is about eight years old now so it's good that it's still running alright so now you can see my old cheap plastic hop up and the reason that I'm replacing it is because uh, my old hop-up bucking actually got torn up. I was playing and uh, my BB started getting jammed in the barrel and I thought my barrel was just jamming but when I took it apart my hop-up was in shreds so um, and actually I think it was because it was uh, it was in shreds because of the last time that I replaced my barrel, I replaced it with this uh, tight bore Mad Bull barrel, and I didn't replace the hop up when I did replace the barrel, so it got torn up quite a bit and it finally jammed. So uh, I just decided when I was gonna get a new hop up, I just or a new hop up bucking, decided to get a new hop up chamber. So I'll go ahead and take the old hop up off you can see it's pretty cheap plastic stuff and I'm gonna replace it with this Lonex metal hop up system comes in this package right here uh, enhanced hop up for AK series. I got it from Airsoft GI for about 17 bucks, so it's not too bad. Uh, so here's the new hop up. I think it looks pretty good, and it looks like it's well made, which is the most important part. And here is new hop-up bucking which is also from Lonex and this also looks fairly well made doesn't have any markings on the inside or anything so these are the parts that I'll be putting in hopefully it'll increase per the performance of my gun so I'll show you how to assemble it you have this part right here which has the hop up nub that fits right in there and so you just slide it into the top like that and then there's a little blue pin right here that you stick in right there And then next piece is the adjuster. And I went ahead and put the adjuster handle on. So that just goes in right here. And then you just put one of these wide headed screws in right here.
You don't want to put it too tight, otherwise it'll the slider won't turn. That's pretty good. While you're putting those parts in, sometimes the hop-up nub will fall out. And the best way to do that is just to roll it in there into that little square. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you just roll it into that square lengthwise and get it back into that groove. So now as you can see, I've got the hop-up nub back in there. I don't know if you can tell if it's going up and down or not. But... You just have to make sure that's in there, otherwise the BB won't get hopped up at all. So, got that back in there. And the next step is to get the hop up on the barrel. So, you want to slide it in like this. You want the smaller end to be on the tip of the barrel and you just gotta look for the grooves on the inside of the hop-up bucking because they'll match up with the grooves on the barrel so that should slide in pretty easily kinda clicked you know that it's in um, now what you wanna do is spray some silicone on the hop up so that'll be the next step okay so you get some silicone on there that's probably good enough and then just kind of rub it around make sure it gets all around on there and then Slide it in right here. Alright, so now I have the barrel in. You want to make sure you see those grooves right there on each side. And to really make sure that you've uh, put it in right, you want to look in there where the hop up nub went up and down that I showed you and adjust it to make sure that the hop-up nub still goes up and down and you probably can't see in there because now it's dark but it is going up and down and pushing the hop-up bucking so that's what you want to see to know that's in right and then next you take the little clip and clip it on there now that you have the clip in, the only thing left to do is to put on the ring. So you just slide that down there. Alright, so now that the clip and everything else is on here, uh, you test it to make sure that the hop-up nub is working correctly. Put the new hop-up into the gearbox and put every, all the other parts back on and should have a more accurate and maybe even a little bit more powerful gun so I uh, hope you found this helpful this has been how to put a new hop up and hop up bucking in an AK style airsoft gun uh, please like and subscribe